Now let's answer a question from random post. At ito ay post ni Ma'am Maria Michelle yata ang pagka-pronounce nito. Michelle Muz Muzngi Ista Cruz. Marami ito pero sleepy na kasi ako ngayon. Isingit ko lang. Isa muna ang sagutan natin. We will see kung bukas may time ako. Sasagutan din natin yung iba. For now, ang sagutan lang natin muna ay ito. And the question is, ang problem dito ay, A boy counted 73 posts while the train he was on ran for 8 minutes. He started counting as the train passed the first post and stopped with the last one. If the posts were 100 meters apart, how many kilometers an hour was the train traveling? Is it number 1, 73? Is it number 2, 72? Is it number 3, 54.77? Is it number 4, 54? Or is it number 5, none of these? If you haven't answered this yet, answer this first before you will see our solution. Simplest way to solve this is 7.2 divided by 8 times 60 and the answer here is 54. For you to understand kung paano nangyari ito, you have to watch this video until the end. Erase muna natin ito. Let me read this again. A boy counted 73 posts while the train he was on ran for 8 minutes. He started counting as the train passed the first post and stopped with the last one. So ito yung first, tapos ito yung last na post. Okay. If the post were 100 meters apart, 100 meters apart, 100 meters apart sa next na post, Tapos, 73 lahat ito, 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 mga post, hanggang 73 lahat. If the post were 100 meters apart, how many kilometers an hour was the train traveling? First, ito yung unang post, ito yung last. Yung distance ng kada post nila ay 100 meters Ilan yung interval lang ba ang kukunin mo? So, ilan yung interval dyan? 72 only. Kasi ito yung una. Pangalawa, oh, example lang ha. Example para ma-gets nyo. Ito yung una, halimbawa kung tatlong post. Sa tatlong post, dalawa lang yung interval. Kung apat, tatlo yung interval. Therefore, Kung 73 minus 1, 72 yung interval. So, 72 times 100, kasi sa interval na yan, sa first post, dun sa pangalawa, sa pangalawa dun sa third post, ay 100 meters. Ilan yung interval? 72. So, 72 times 100, and that is 7,200 meters meters 7200 meters converted into kilometers there are 1000 meters in 1 kilometer so 7200 divided by 1000 and that is 7.2 kilometers Kinonvert mo na. Ito yung meters. So, pag convert mo yung kilometer, convert mo muna kasi ang tanong dito is how many kilometer an hour. This 7.2 kilometer, this is in 8 minutes. So, divide this 7.2 kilometer by 8 minutes for us to get the kilometer per minute. 
Isa-isahin natin. 7.2 divided by 8. And that is obviously 9. Tapos itong decimal na to, itaas mo lang yan. I-align mo. So 9 times 8, that is 72. So 0 na yan. Ito na yung sagot, 0.9. Si point 0.9, yan yung kilometer per minute. In one hour, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So, multiply natin ito ng 60 minutes kasi ang tanong dito ay, how many kilometers an hour? So, i-convert natin ito, itong point 0.9 kilometer per minute to 1 hour, and that is multiplied by 60 minutes. 0.9 times 60, and that is 54 kilometer per hour. Mag-recap lang tayo, at ayusin natin yung solution natin para mas klaro lang sa inyo. Ayusin lang natin. Yung explanation ko lang ang mahaba, pero... Ang shortcut, ipakita ko rin yung paano, ko, ka, paano kayo mag-shortcut. Pinaliwanag ko lang kasi, kaya medyo mas mahaba. Okay? Dito muna tayo sa another solution. Pariho lang siya. As in the same lang. Uulitin ko lang din, pero uh, as much as possible, gawin ko lang siyang mas maganda. 73 post. And the post is 100 meters apart. Meaning yung interval lang. So that is 72. 72 times 100 meters and that is 7,200 meters. Then we are going to convert this into kilometer. 7,200 meters times 1 kilometer is equals to 1,000 meters and that is Cancel na si M, kilometer na lang ang matira. 7,200 divided by 1,000 and that is 7.2. Another way, same. 7,200 meters divided by 1,000 meters. This is over kilometer. So, 7,200 uh, divided by 1,000, and that is 7,000, uh, 7.2. Ito namang si M at si, taka si, si M over K, M divided by M over KM. Ikopyahin natin ito, tapos si division maging multiplication at si... Uh, divisor natin, mag, ang reciprocal niya, km, kilometer over m. So, cancel out na siya. Ito na lang ang natira. So, 7.2 kilometers. Okay? May s, kilometers. This 7.2 kilometers is within 8 minutes. So, 7.2 per uh, kilometers per 8 minutes. And we are going to convert this into per minute. So, i-divide lang siya. 7.2 divided by 8 and that is 0.9 kilometer per minute. To convert this kilometer per minute, we have to multiply this by 60 minutes. This is per minute. There are 60 minutes in 1 hour. So just multiply 0 0.9, 0 0.9 by 60 para makuha mo yung 1 hour. So what happened to this kilometer per minute? Kilometer per minute. So kilometer per minute multiplied by 60 minutes. 60 minutes in 1 per 1 hour. So, yung minutes na yan, cancelled na. Ang natira na lang ay si kilometer per hour. So, this 60 minutes, you have to multiply this to 0 0.9. 0 0.9 times 60 minutes. Isa-isahin natin. 60 
times 0 0.9, this is 0, that one is 54 decimal, isang decimal, so mag-isa lang ang move mo. So the answer here is 54 kilometers per hour. Now let's do the shortcut, okay? 73 posts from first to the last one. If the posts were 100 meters apart, so let's only count 72, the intervals. 72 multiplied to first kilometers an hour yung question. So, i-convert na natin itong 100 meters to kilometer. 100 meters is equals to 0.1 kilometer. 7.2 multiplied by 0.1, that is 7.2. 7.2 kilometers in 8 minutes. And that is 0.9 kilometer per minute. And mul just multiply this by 60 minutes to get kilometer per hour. 0.9 times 60, and that is 54 kilometer per hour. Wait, this is kilometer per hour. 